Jim Spellman, VP of Business Development and Engineering for Razor Technologies on the Hummer they're calling greener than the Prius. With 100 miles per and a lid-ion battery that runs for up to 40 miles without a drop of gasoline. Jim, if you could tell us about this product, how did this get created and how is it getting 100 mpg? Well, the, the product is our Hummer H3 electric vehicle. It's a range extended vehicle. So it, it uses both um, electric, electricity and gasoline to fuel it, uh, to propel it. So uh, the, the best way to think about it is it's a, it starts out as an all electric vehicle. We have a lithium ion battery pack that gets refueled from the grid and uh, that would be the cheapest way to, to fill up your, your battery packs. And then you would go out and drive 40 miles all electric. Once you go outside that 40 miles, that's when the engine would come on and it turns a 100 kilowatt generator. So the only thing that the engine uh, actually turns is a generator and that electricity then is sent back to supply the traction motor to continue driving and the excess would go into the batteries to refill the batteries and then when the batteries are full the engine would go back off. So let's go back to your, your question. When you go 40 miles you burn no fuel so you, you have infinite fuel, uh, fuel uh, miles per gallon at that point. So now you go to 65 miles, you've, your engine has come on, you've burned a little bit of gasoline to go that additional 25 miles. And if you average that over the total 65 mile trip, that's how we come up with the number of 100 miles per gallon. So when you take the, the vehicle and you would drive it, uh, it, ha it now has a range of 400 miles. So the first 40 all electric with the 11 gallon tank will be able to drive an additional 360 miles. And over that trip, this vehicle will average 33 miles per gallon on a long trip like that, which is double the fuel economy of a normal vehicle of this size. We looked at a range of uh, different vehicles. Uh, we picked the Hummer because uh, we, we thought if we took the bad boy of the bunch, you know, the, the vehicle that's known to be the, the worst, one of the worst fuel economy uh, vehicles, and we could convert it into a 100 mile per gallon vehicle, uh, where right now we're saying it's greener than a Prius, we thought it would get a lot of notoriety, a lot of good press and everything to highlight our components, our electric uh, powertrain components. and. Uh, it, it just uh, it was a, a, a good vehicle to start with. But this same powertrain can be put into full-size pickup trucks and other SUVs. For uh, this type of vehicle, there's a lot of off-road enthusiasts that like uh, to go out to uh, rock crawling and you know go off-roading with this with this type of vehicle. So um, and it's it's a high-end luxury sport utility vehicle. So uh, I would think you're still going to go into that market and. Uh, it, it, it also really appeals to the, the people that are trying to reduce the, their fuel consumption cost and uh, improve on emissions. So um, at first when a new technology comes out, there's only a, a small amount of adopters until a technology is actually uh, going to pay back in like a less than a three, three year payback. And until, in my opinion, until you get something like a vehicle that will pay back in less than three years, you will not get the general public to adopt that technology. You'll get a small portion of it, but it won't become the mainstream until you get below a three-year payback. And that's, that's our goal, to get below three years.